Hi everybody, my name's Rina and I'm part of the development team here at AuraQ. Welcome to this Mendix tutorial all about security. These tutorials are going to walk you through the basics of low-code app development using Mendix. It's part of our Mendix Fundamental YouTube series where we'll be looking at the four essential topics required to build an effective application. These topics include domain models, pages, security and microflows. This video is going to concentrate on security and we're going to have a look at how we can apply the security rules to your application. We're going to be building on ideas learnt in our previous videos, so check those out if you haven't already. The whole series is based around building an event planning application for trail walking events. We're going to continue where we left off in our previous video, so let's get started. As with all development, we need to start with some user stories and security is no different. The user stories we're going to work towards are as an administrator, I want a secure application with login page where I can manage my users. As an administrator, I want to add user information to the application so that they can access the application. We already have a basic application created from our previous videos, so now we need to catch up and apply the security rules to this application. Security just means who has access to what. Whilst we would normally build in our security rules as we are building our application, for the purpose of this YouTube series, it's easy if we just do it all in one video. Mendix is really clever in how it applies security by automatically removing navigation options and buttons for those users who don't have permission. Security is applied at the entity, pages and microphone level. We already have our domain model built, so now it's time to set up the security in order to continue. By default, nobody has access to anything. So now we need to define who has access to what. We need to ensure that we only give the minimum access needed. So how does security work? There are application level security options where you can manage the admin accounts, demo users, anonymous access and manage the user roles. But there are also module level security settings where you can set the security on a more granular level. Mendix has three application security levels, off, prototype demo and production. Let's have a look at these in more detail. Okay, let's open up application security. Here we can see the three levels. Off. There is no sign in and users have access to everything. Prototype demo. This introduces security to sign in, pages and microflows. This would be used to build a POC to easily demonstrate the functionality of security within the application. Production. Production level security applies security rules to the entities, pages and microflows. And here, the default is that users have access to nothing until you define it. From here, we can have a look at user roles. User roles are given to users to provide access to the application features. The role is built up from different module roles, which gives flexibility for permissions. Each module has its own set of roles, which are defined according to the module's requirements. Module roles might include supervisor, administrator, authorizer, but it will vary depending on the application that you're building. Now let's set up our user roles. Our application needs an administrator, an event admin and a user role. The administrator will manage the user account details, the event admin will manage the routes and the events in the application and the user will be able to view and register for events online. By default, all applications will already come with a user user role and an administrator user role, so we only need to add the event admin user role. Now let's add some module roles. We need event admin and users for the same reasons. Now let's go back to user roles and edit the module roles for administrator. We need to give the administrator access to the trail event app event admin module role. This ensures that the administrator role has sufficient access across the whole application. For user, we need to ensure that they have access to the trail walking app user module role also. And then the same with event admin.
So at the end, our user roles should look like this. Now, as you can see, we've got lots of errors, but that's because we've moved to production level security and we've built pages without initially defining the security requirements for those. So let's fix that next. Let's open module security and give event admin access to all pages. We also need to give user access to event overview, event register, and event view. And click OK. Next, let's have a look at defining the access rules for the entities we've created in our domain model. Let's start with root. Open the entity and select access rule and select new. Give create and delete permissions and read write access to all members. This gives them the ability to create new records, delete any records in the database and gives read and write access to each attribute of the entity. This also gives read write access to the associations with root image, which is important. Now click OK and add a new access rule, this time for user. Do not give create or delete permissions and set all members to read. Now click OK. Now let's re open root image. Give read write access to event admin and read access to user. You'll notice all inherited fields from system.image are read only, so it cannot be set to read write. Next, let's do the same for events. We're going to give read write access to event admin, but this time we're not going to give them permission to delete. Next, let's create a new access role for user. And we're going to give them read access to all members. We now need to define an additional rule using XPath. Mendix XPath is a query language used to filter data when it's being retrieved from the database. For the user, we want to limit them to see only events that occur in the future. So let's open up the user rule and select XPath constraints. Here we can type in any expression which makes references to the domain model entities, attributes and associations. Let's start with a square bracket to start the expression and trigger the suggestion. So in this case, let's enter start date time bigger than current date time. and click OK. Current date time is an example of a token. This is a helpful system variable that can be used to support expressions within Mendix. In this case, it would provide the current date time. The expression will filter out events where the start date is greater than the current date time. To the user, this will remove any events in the past. Another example of an X path is to create a special rule so that event admins can only delete events which they created. To achieve this, we still need to keep the original rule we created, which gives them read-write access to the event, but we need an additional rule, which grants them only delete permissions if they're the owner of that event. To do this, we need to duplicate the event admin rule that we created. Now open the rule and select the delete permission. Click on XPath Constraint and click on owner. This means that the owner of the record will have this security rule only. In this case, only allowing them to delete it. 
The owner property is saved in the database because it's been selected when building the entity in episode one. The last one is participants, but in this case, we actually want the user to have read write permissions and the event admin to have only read permissions. So click on participant and select access rules and click new. Select event admin, read, and a new access rule for user and make sure you give them read write. This security rule will hide the registration button from the event admin so that they don't have permissions to create new users. To manage the accounts in our application, we need to add the accounts overview page from the administration module. We need to add that to the navigation menu. Access will have already been granted to the administrator. This is the default page that is added by the administration module, but you can add or create your own page if you want. Mendix also provides a default login page, so it's useful to add a sign out page as well. Now let's run the application. Login is admin with the default login details of MX admin and password. And let's see the different viewpoints from each user. So that's all our application security updated. Security should be updated on an ongoing basis as and when you add new features to your application, including the security of microflows. Microflows is the next topic in the series. Here we explain what a microflow is and how they can be used to add business logic to your application. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And for any further information, please see our website, which will be linked below.